everybody welcome to another binance tutorial where i'm going to show you how to set stop limit order on binance to manage your risk when trading cryptocurrencies on the platform i'm going to tell you what stop limit order is how it protects your crypto assets from huge losses and how to set it up an order is like an instruction to tell the platform to do something so a stop limit order is an instruction you give to the platform to do two things one to stop when a certain price has been reached and two to create a limit order to either sell your crypto or buy you crypto at a certain price for anyone who doesn't know what a limit order is a limit order is an order that says buy or sell a particular cryptocurrency at a certain price it is important to set stop limit orders to protect yourself from huge losses or dumps at times when you are not physically present to do it yourself for example Let's say I bought Bitcoin at 47,000 to the USDT pair in hopes that the price will rise from 47,000 to 50,000 and then I plan to sell it. So everything looks good during the day and the price even rose to 48,000. But then at night, I go to sleep and unfortunately when I'm asleep, the price falls from 48,000 to 30,000. If I don't have a stop limit order in place, it means that by the time I wake up, I would have suffered a huge loss on that trade. So to protect myself from a situation like this, I can set a stop limit order to say, one, if the price of Bitcoin falls to 47,500, stop. Two, create a limit order for me to sell my Bitcoin at a price of 47,495. So in this case, when I wake up in the morning and the price of Bitcoin has fallen to 30,000, I haven't suffered a loss at all because I bought at 47,000 and I sold at 47,500. I didn't make as much profit as I would have made if I sold at 48K, but I protected myself from loss. Another scenario could be, let's say I don't want to sell at 47,500 because maybe I believe that even if the price falls, it will rise again to 50K in a short time. In a case like this where I want to hold out as long as possible, I can set a stop limit order to say 1. If the price drops to 40k, stop. 2. Create a limit order to sell my Bitcoin at 39999. So if I wake up the next morning and let's say the entire market has crashed and the price of Bitcoin has dropped to 10k, I still suffered some loss but not as bad as it would have been if I didn't set a stop limit order. So what I would do in this case is that I would take the money I made when my stop limit order sold my Bitcoin at 39999 and I will buy Bitcoin back at the current price of 10 k Then I will wait for it to rise again. If the price rises to say 25 k I would have made more money than if the crash never happened and the price just moved from 47 to 50 k It is good to set stop limit orders even for times when you are awake and watching the market because sometimes prices can move so fast that you won't get a chance to sell your crypto manually. It is recommended for you to set your sell price at a price that is a little below the stop price. So in a scenario where the price falls to what you set as your stop price but starts going up again after that, you won't miss out because the platform won't sell your crypto unless the price reaches what you asked it to sell at in the limit order. Another scenario could be when prices are falling very fast. If your sell price is below your stop price, the system will have time to place your sell order after the stop price has been reached. You can also use stop limit orders to buy crypto so that you can catch a particular crypto as it starts to pump and before the price gets too high. The concept is the same. For example, if the price of Ethereum to the USDT pair is 1,800 and I believe that Ethereum is going to rise to 2,000, but I'm not sure if I should buy now or wait and see if it will drop a little before I buy so that I can make more profit. What I can do in this case is I can set a stop limit order to say 1. Price of Ethereum reaches 1,850. 2. Buy Ethereum for me at 1,848.99. This way, I won't miss out completely if the pump happens at a time when I'm not actively looking at the market. So that's how you use stop limit orders. You can apply it to a bunch of different scenarios, but the goal is to protect your investment so you either don't lose a lot or you don't miss out on a pump. Now that you understand what stop limit orders are, I'm going to show you how to set it on the Binance platform. So for this example, I have this coin YFI and I bought it using the BNB pair. I want to sell it when the price is a lot higher than it is now. So what I will do is I will go to trade. I can go to trade from here and select the BNB pair. Or I can go to trade from here, go to classic, search for it, and then I'll arrive at the same place. But this is faster, so I'm just going to go through this point. So I can see that the current price of this coin is 305.94.
but this is a 24 hour high that means in the past 24 hours this is how high it's been so i'm going to set a stop limit order to say if the price reaches this again sell it for me at a slightly lower price so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll down right now it's currently on limits this is market i'm going to select stop limits and it will open the path for me to enter the details for stop limits for the stop price i'm going to say 335.10 so just a little lower than the 24 hour high and for the limit price be very careful with this limit price because this is the price is going to sell it if i execute this now with what is here it's going to sell the coin right now and i'll be at a loss so you have to be very careful i'm going to change this to say sell it for me at 335.05 how much of my Wi-Fi do I want to sell? All of it. This is how much I'm going to get in BNB. If I scroll down to show you where I bought it, if I go to my trade history for the past three months, you're going to see this is where I bought it. I bought it at a price of 310. So right now I'm at a loss. But if I sell it at this price, I'm going to have 1.54 BNB, which is okay for me right now. So I'm going to say sell Wi-Fi. It's going to tell me that I'm creating an order confirmation for Wi-Fi on the BNB pair. It's a stop limit order and it is for me to sell. This is the stop price I'm tracking. This is the price I wanted to sell it for me. This is the amount I want to sell. And this is the total I'm going to get. If the last price rises to or above 335.10 BNB, an order to sell this amount of Wi-Fi at a price of 335.05 BNB will be placed. So I'll click confirm to accept this. Under my open orders, you will see it here. So that's what's going to happen. If I'm not okay with this anymore, I can come here and click cancel. But this is what I want right now and I'm going to leave it for that. That's how you set a stop limit order. The process is similar if you're trading in the futures market. If I go to futures now, you'll see limit price, market price, stop limit. You click on it and make sure you select stop limit. For the stop price, the same way we did it in the spot market, you put in the spot price. You put in the price you want it to execute as, which is the limit order you are creating. And you put in the size that you want. Then you choose to either buy or sell. It's pretty simple, but you have to be careful what you're putting in for the parameters. If you found this video useful, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one. God bless your hustle.